Hello, I'm Joe Neighbour from Signal Centre. Today is the 7th of December and I'm going to do a quick roundup on cryptocurrencies. In terms of the latest headlines, cryptocurrencies were subject to some very volatile trading in early Europe on Monday. There was an element of bargain hunting following the steep declines that we saw on Friday uh, and confidence is looking a little bit brittle following that flash crash that we saw particularly in Bitcoin. Bitcoin dropped to lows of near $47,000 before rebound. Bounding. Crypto assets also secured a bit of a boost yesterday following news that uh, the FTSE owners were planning to develop a crypto index and underlying investor demand therefore remained quite strong. So let's get stuck into the charts. This is the daily chart first of all on Bitcoin and this is the first chance we've had to look at the charts following that flash crash that we saw on Friday. So as you can see here on the daily chart, this is the candle that we're referring to. It's the 4th of December and we saw a substantial drop in the value of Bitcoin. Overall, in terms of the chart setups, things look very positive. As we know, Bitcoin is in a very long term and strong uptrend. So there's no immediate threats to the well-being of the uptrend. Um, and interestingly enough, we did actually see um, some buying sort of stepping around the 78.6% Fib level from the most recent swing move from the 21st of September to those highs that we posted on the 10th of November. So we did see obviously a substantial move below that 78.6 Fib level, but on a closing basis on the daily chart, we saw it well above that level. And over the last three days, we have seen some uh, buying appetite come back in as bargain hunters look to uh, onboard the latest drop in the market. So overall, it looks pretty positive. And I think as long as we stay above this 45,891 level and then below that, the uh, key 40,000 level or down to 39,600, the outlook still looks pretty strong for Bitcoin. So we'd be looking to buy on dips towards those levels, I think, for the time being. But of course, do be aware that you know, volatile swings can happen as we saw last week. It doesn't take a lot for uh, the confidence to wane and for the buy orders to be pulled on this market. Let's take a look at this from an intraday perspective, because although I'm talking, you know, long term, I think the overall outlook remains positive. There is some still probably some nerves in the market following that flash crash that we saw on Friday. So there is potential for opportunities to trade this market in both directions. So I'm going to take a quick look at the four hour chart on Bitcoin. So as you can see, we've got this corrective move lower here. That was the 78.6% Fib level here that I was referring to. We've also got some other supports down at these levels as well. So what I've drawn on here is a Fib level from the highs on the 10th of November down to those flash crash lows that we saw on Friday. And we've got 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level at 52,535. And above that, we've got these lows here, which I think could act as a quite a nice resistance level. So there is a potential there for some selling pressure, I think, into this kind of range here between 52,535 to 53,533. That could be a tempting level for anybody looking for a short term position in Bitcoin to potentially sell into in line with this very short term downtrend. So that's something to potentially keep an eye out for today. I want to take a look at Ethereum quickly as well. Um, overall, it looks very robust on the long term charts. Absolutely no concerns really with the long term trend for now. As you can see, I've got here highlighted in these red bands, a trading range that has been quite persistent now for uh, a while, going back to sort of the end of October. And prices have largely been range bound within um, these uh, levels down to 3885 up to 4867. Here we saw the flash crash on Friday really quite quickly got back above um, those support levels and uh, buyers stepped back in pretty quickly to take advantage of the drop in price but all looks pretty good still and we've backed that up with some more gains today so all in all looking pretty robust in the uh, medium to long term and no concerns over the trend I think if we get below 3885 on a closing basis on the daily charts then I'd start to be maybe a little bit more concerned about the trend and we may go through a period of prolonged volatility but with every chart there's always two stories to tell and if we go intraday on the chart for Ethereum uh, I was quite interested in this level here um, for a potential short opportunity. So um, 
we've got the range as you can see here price action is very choppy very rangy this was the big flash crash lower but this is maybe the point where it all started to unravel quite quickly on friday and prices started to shoot lower quite aggressively so we're actually going in for the re first retest of this level since that lev uh, since that move on friday so this could be quite a telling point 44,055 is the level that i've highlighted as where we may see some sellers step back in there may be a you know some technical interest around there that would see um, some selling take shape if we look at the fib levels just to try and add some confluence to the picture um, we have got above the 61.8 percent that hasn't really worked or done any sort of job above that we've got this 78.6 percent level at 45.25 kind of coupled with this resistance level i've got at 44.55 so in and around this band here we may see some selling interest on a very short-term basis that would be you know i think a key indication um you know as to whether or not we are seeing any follow through selling potentially as a result of this flash crash that we saw on Friday. So all in all, the trends look pretty strong when it comes to cryptocurrencies. Um, if you're a long term holder, I don't think there's anything to be too concerned about at the moment. If you are in towards the tops and looking for, you know, maybe to reposition yourself, then, you know, we could see some volatility in the coming days, particularly into these resistance levels that we are coming up against in the short term. That's it from me today. Uh, I'll be back next week with another roundup on Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And until then, trade safe, everybody. Goodbye.